I was told when I was little, when I was bullied, that if I could keep my mouth shut and keep my head down that I wouldn't be bullied. I just found that to not help. I was still weird. Hi, my name is Edison and I am a super human. What's your superpower? I'd say my superpower is my ability to retain facts. So you really got a strong brain? I say I would. Yeah. When did you figure out that that was your superpower? Well, I've known for a while. I'm not very brawny. Uh, and I, I'm not the best at chess, but I love art. I love music. I, I especially love history and mythology. And I found that I could retain facts about those things. And from those facts, I could base my creative work and also my academic work. Before I really got into history and stuff, I was interested in human anatomy and I memorized every bone in the human body and I memorized all sorts of um, rare conditions. My grandpa liked that because he was a doctor. And so early on, I knew I had a brain in my head, um, but I still felt pretty awkward. <laughs> I have to confess, I'm on the autism spectrum, so socialization is not my strong suit. Everybody is into, you know, Justin Bieber or uh, or the newest YouTube thing or the newest meme, and I didn't get any of it. And for all these facts that I retained, I couldn't meet people at their level, and it made me feel like an outsider. Like I had been granted all the knowledge in the world, and yet I couldn't hold my own in a conversation with my peers. It made me feel a bit foolish. It made me feel a little bit, um... It's hard to find the words, but... I got bullied a lot for being into what I was into, and... I... I just felt like I didn't want anything to do with the world. What changed? When did the light bulb come on that you suddenly were like, no? I think it was my Latin teacher, Dr. Kyle. I saw that he got a PhD doing classics. He spoke several languages. I know French, German, Russian, um, Latin, classical Greek, possibly a little bit of modern Greek. And he made it. He had a family, he had a PhD. He was the kindest man I could ever meet. And seeing him make it made me feel like I could make it. I think super humans are people who have different gifts. They don't need to bend and conform. Their gifts are valid, their gifts are needed, and their gifts are, are perfect the way they are. You can't be a fish and climb a tree. You can't be a robin and swim in the water. I'm weird, and I might get bullied for that, but why try to make myself less weird? Still get bullied rather than just, you know, embrace my passions and Find places where I can thrive. Even if you don't fit in, you're still amazing just the way you are. It's me.